Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the season hype for the Miami Heat. Another year, another opportunity for us to go out there and do what we call the unthinkable, but I know we can actually achieve it. And that is to go in and win an NBA championship. You see, the media are already casting us away before the season even starts. On the predictions, they had us being a 7 or 8 seed, even though last year was the first seed. I know we didn't get a big free agent signing. Some people think that our team is kind of bad right now. I think our team is kind of like middle of the pack. But I think us keeping the same guys is actually a plus. It actually helps us out because the chemistry will already be there. And, of course, the guys already know the culture. And they already know the style of the team. They already know what they got to bring to the table. But I think you, know, you guys already know the roster, really. You guys know the roster. You guys, I did the roster analysis video from a fan perspective. I'm not a professional. So if I say something wrong in the video... Oh, well, I'm, not, I'm just doing it from a fair perspective, a guy who loves Miami Heat basketball. And you already know what the roster is, but I think it's three three key pieces to the roster that are going to be the, the changing force and the, the X factor for us to win a championship this year. And those three pieces is Tyler Hero, Victor Lodipo, and Ben Adebayo. Of course, Jimmy Butler is a driving force as well. He's the superstar player. We know what he's going to bring. But can you know, other guys bring something as well? Like, Tyler Hero has a lot to prove, a lot to get off his chest. Uh, people saying that he didn't deserve the money. They're saying that he was overpaid. They're saying that Tyler Hero is not that type of player. And last year, he was sixth man of the year. Last year, he averaged 21 points per game. Last year, he almost uh, averaged 40% from the three-point line. And yet, people still disrespect him and say he's not that type of player. And I think this year, with him getting that confidence from the, not just from himself, like you knowing that he can get he's getting better, but from the team and still in confidence in him as well, paying him that big amount, saying, You're our guy and we're gonna we're gonna put all our trust in you to go out there to be at pure score, to be at elite level score that we need to help us win a championship. So I think Tyler Hero is gonna prove himself right and show them that he actually belongs here and that he earned every penny. And Bam Adebayo is the heart and soul of the team. We know Bam Adebayo represents. People have been saying a lot about Bam Adebayo, saying that Bam Adebayo is a very good defender, but on the offensive side, he's all right. And sometimes he's good, but he's not that elite level. And what Bam, what Bam showed him, Bam went out there. And of course, in the offseason, we've seen him playing the Drew League stuff and opening his game up. And then we see him in the preseason shooting threes and opening his game up, being more aggressive at the rim and attacking and showing some different stuff and showing that he's been putting that work in to get to that next level, to showing that he can be a 25 points and 12 rebound type of guy, showing that he can be an all-NBA level type of guy. And then the other guy is Victor Oladipo. Victor Oladipo, has, people have been saying like he's washed up. He's not the same. He's just Victor Oladipo by name. But this is his first offseason in a while. Victor Oladipo had a quad injuries. He been battling injuries like after injury. Remember in Indiana, the injuries that happened in Houston, the quad injury that he got when he traded to the Heat. It, um, he had a um, ruptured quad or a ripped quad, some type of in injury he had, and then he never really had a full offseason to recover. He finally had a full offseason to recover and a full offseason to get prepared for the regular season and actually play the entirety of the season so he'd be ready for the playoffs. In the playoffs last year, he played his tail off. He played with heart. He played with guts. And he, he went out there and performed to the best of his abilities. But this time, he would be a different breed. He would be a different animal, a different beast. And he would go out there and help us do the unthinkable, do the impossible, what people say, and ask to win a championship and bring home the fourth Larry O'Brien. I know Jimmy Butler is going to show it every time. Jimmy Butler put his heart on line, put his style, his style, his game plan, his, his game, his intensity, his energy, everything you can think of. Jimmy Public put it on the line every single time. Every time he stepped in that, on that court, he put it on the line. I remember the first year he got here in the bubble, he went out there, put up 40 points, triple-double, outscored LeBron, the first player to ever do that in the playoffs, scored 40 points without even attempting a three-pointer. He was out there balling, playing gutsy and playing with heart. Second year, we got, we got eliminated the first round. We got swept. We should have won at least one game. But Jimmy Butler went out there after having that COVID. We had COVID. He lost 20 pounds. Went out there and kept playing. Got us to the playoffs. And we left the playoff spot in at six. Went out there and played with his heart. The last the last year, the Eastern Conference, Jimmy Butler with the, the knee. Um, was like, I think his knee was like banged up or something. He was in the same. Remember, he had the 12-point game. He had, he had a 9-point game. He had a 13-point game. People were saying, oh, Jimmy Butler, he can't hold it up. He's not a superstar. What he do? Went out there and kept us alive and forced the game seven. Went out there and played his heart out in that game seven and put everything on the line. So I know Jimmy Butler's going to bring it every single time. He's going to put everything on the line every time. But who's going to come with him? Who's going to bring some food to the table with Jimmy Butler? Is Jimmy Butler bringing everything? Is, like, is Bama Dubai going to step up? Is Vito Depot going to step up? Tyler Hero going to step up? Are all three of those guys going to step up and come up and come to the battle with Jimmy Butler 
that, that's the key pieces for me. I feel like, of course, everybody else in the team is important. Of course, Kyle Lowry, Caleb Martins, the Max Struess, the Gabe Vincent, and Nikola Jovic, who's a secret weapon, who's going to be very good. Of course, Jamal Kane's another secret weapon, who's going to be very good as well. Those guys are all important. But I think those three guys, like Tyler Hero, Vito Depot and Bad Abayo, are going to be the driving force to help us win the championship. Like, like what Sha Shaquille O'Neal always said, he said, of course, the superstar players, you know what they're going to do. But it's what the, it's what the players around them going to do. You know, the players around him are going to do it with the other guys going to put on to the table. Oh, Depot is not an ordinary guy. He's a, he's a former all-star, multiple-time all-star, multiple-time all-NBA-like player. Tyler Hero, not an ordinary guy. A sixth man of the year, elite, and he's a, getting to elite-level scoring. Man of Bio, not an ordinary guy. All-star, all-defensive team. So those guys are, they have all the they have the accolades, they have all the stuff, but can they put it together? Can they put all that together to help us win a championship? And that will be, of course, will be answered this year. So, Good luck, Miami Heat. Um, hopefully have a great season this year. Hopefully go all the way and add that fourth Larry O'Brien to the um to the trophy case and bring it back home to 305. But it's gonna be a very fun year. And I'm gonna be doing a review on Wednesday after the first game. And after that, I'm gonna be doing weekly reviews on every uh, every game basically. So tune in on Friday or Saturday for me doing weekly reviews. But yeah, hopefully we have a great season. Hopefully we can bring home a championship. Cause we've been it's been a long time. It's been like since what 20 2013, we put, no, 2013, 2013, yeah, we put the Spurs. The last time we won a championship here. So we bring a championship home here. And we just need to bring, you no, know, let's, let's get a city, you know, get a city they ring. We've been denied too long. Like, 2020, we came very close. We had the Goran Dragic injury, the Bam injury. But this, I think this right here is the year. This right here is the year we felt, we tasted everything. We tasted what it's like to get there and to, like, lose. We tasted what it's like to almost get there last year and to come up, you know, come up short. We tasted what it's like to, they absolutely destroy in the first round. We, we taste all different emotions. Now it's time for us to taste the emotion of what it's like to win. And hopefully this year we will win. But that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out and let's go heat.